this is Trisha Motivation and More. Today, my topic is about always take a little bit of Jesus with you wherever you go. You know how we go to a different place and we just forget about God. We forget about who's blessing us, who's keeping us going. Don't ever, ever get somewhere and you forget about our Father God. Always take a little Jesus with you anywhere you go. I don't care if it's our country. I don't care if it's to another city. Always take Jesus with you. And one thing about us, we forget about us, him, when we go someplace, when we go to another country. But don't ever forget about him because let me tell you something. He will never forget about you. Guys, I've been not very active here on um, live streams that much. I've been trying to find myself, trying to get myself together, you know, trying to get more closer to God, more closer to the world. You know, sometimes we lack those things when we move different places. That's why I say don't ever forget about Jesus when you move somewhere. Always take him with you. And one thing that we learned that we have to do when we pack in our stuff, we got to pack Jesus along with us. And we forget about that when we go somewhere. We forget about that when we move somewhere. Don't ever forget about him because he still got your back. No matter where you at, no matter what things look like in your life right now, if it's, if it's not the way you think it's supposed to be, you got to pack him along with you anyway. You got to bring him along with you because let me tell you something. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And he's been through, he's been with me through this little road that I'm going down right now. You know, like I said, I'm not where I want to be at yet right now, but I still pack Jesus with me. I still hold him in my heart. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. Even though we're not where we want to be at, he still wants us to hold him in our heart. He still wants us to gather our thoughts and give them to him. And like I said, that's why it's good to meditate sometimes. That's why it's good to fast sometimes and let God know, you know what? I need you right now. Not only just need you today, I need you every day. And the problem that we have as individuals, we don't want to pack him along with us. We only want to pack him along with us when we're going through trials and tribulations. But the problem is we got to pack God along with us, whether we're going through trap trials and tribulations or whatever we're going through. We got to still put him there. We got to put him first. And when you, when you God see that you're putting him first, believe me, he's going to put you first too. And that's what I'm trying to say. I've been going through something right now, but you know what? I know I got this, you know? I know I got this. And you know, I know the roads are not going to be easy. We already know that. But as long as we got God in our backpack, as long as we got God in our purse, our pocket, our wallet, we ain't going to go wrong. And that's what I'm trying to say. Don't forget about him when you go another place. Don't forget about him when you're going through stuff. Don't forget about him when he has blessed you with the best. And you know what? You may not see the best right now. You may not see your things that you want to see right now. But if you bring God along with you, you're going to see all you need to see. And like I see, guys, it hasn't been easy for me right now. But like I said, I've been missing in action for a minute on the lives, but guys, know that I love each and every one of my supporters. You know, I don't take none of you guys for granted. You know, when I can sneak in, I always sneak in. Let you guys know, hey, I'm thinking about you. Hey, you know, this and that. But I just want you guys to know, hey, you know what? I still got love in my heart for you guys. Don't ever forget that. But I want you guys to always put Jesus along in your pocket with you. And let him know that you're still thinking about him too. And sometimes we get so busy in life and we forget about him. We forget about that person who woke us up in the morning. We forget about that person who started us on our way. We forget about that person. We should never, ever in life forget about God. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the situation looks like. I don't care what the circumstances are. Don't forget about him. Because like I said, when you forget about him, that's when things go a little rocky. Because you put him on the back burner, which he's not even supposed to be on the back burner. He's supposed to be beside you. So whatever you're going through, guys, always count on God. Don't count on people. Don't count on your teacher. Don't count on your preacher. Count on God. That's the only one going to take you from A to B, you know? And that's the problem we're having here. We don't think that we're going to go from A to B. But if you count on God, we can't do nothing but win. And that's the problem here. I'm winning anyway. Even though I don't see a way out of no way right now, I'm winning anyway. And like I said, God had blessed me to move from one place to the next place. Because you know what? I kept him along with me. I didn't leave him when he blessed me to get somewhere. And that's the problem. When we get somewhere else, or when God bless us to get to another level, we forget about him. We put him on the back burner and say, well, hey, later, God, I don't need you no more. You got to stop that. I'm trying to tell you, you got to stop that. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it sounds like. I don't care what it feel like. If you got God in your life, you will never go wrong. 
So what I'm trying to tell each and every one of you people that is listening in the background or in the live stream or on a premiere, wherever you listening at it from, put God in your pocket. Leave him there. Don't take him out. Don't take him out when you get a lot of stuff. Keep him in, even you got a, if you got this, even if you got that. Keep him there. Keep him in your heart. Keep him close to you. Keep him close to you. Because let me tell you something. God have blessed you to wake up every single morning to see another amazing day that even wasn't promised to you. And you can't have the dignity to put God close to you in your heart. You believe in him. You know that God is a jealous God. We all know that. Being that God is a jealous God, we got to put him first, not second. If he had woke you up this morning to see another amazing day, why are you putting him back in the burner? Haters belong in the burner, not God. You put God beside you or in front of you, wherever, and let him know that you care and let him know, even though you're going through trials and tribulations, that you understand that God's going to make a way out of no way for you. Let God know that you're you're listening to what he's saying, that you're observing, and you're not just listening, you're learning from what he's saying, and you're not just reading the Bible, you're going by the Bible. Let God know that. When God sees that you're doing the right stuff, believe me, he's going to bless you abundantly, abundantly. And we don't believe that because we don't give God the time of day. We give negative stuff the time of day. We give all this type of mean, evil people the time of day. But we never give our Father God the time of day. Take time out for Jesus and watch him make a way out of no way for you. Just because you don't see that way yet doesn't mean it's not going to be a way. Put him first. Stop putting him second. Stop putting him third. God don't put you second. He put you first. So if God put you first, why can't you put him first? If God's showing you love, why can't you show him love? Not only you love, he's showing everybody love. Why can't you show everybody love? I don't care what they say about you. I don't care what they talk, how they talk about you. Keep loving. Because let me tell you, as long as you're loving and doing what God say do, you ain't gonna go wrong. So guys, I just want you to know that God loves you, and so do I. No matter what you're going through, don't turn your back on God because he's not going to turn your back on you. No matter how you go through trials and tribulations and you don't see a way out of no way, keep praying. Keep praying because let me tell you something. One day your day is coming. One day God is going to knock on your door. He's going to knock on your door, and when he knocks on your door, open it up and let him in. Don't be scared to let him in. Let him in. Don't say, God, come back because he ain't coming back. When God knock on that door the first time, you be ready. You let him know, hey, you know what, I'm ready, I'm willing, and I'm waiting. When God sees that you're ready, you're willing and ready, and you didn't turn your back on him, he's not going to turn his back on you. God is ready this month, last month, to enlarge somebody's territory, to give somebody what they've been praying for for years. You don't know, so many people have been praying for stuff for so many years and they haven't got it yet. Sometimes we didn't get, we don't get the things that we pray for because we don't give God no attention. We only use him when we got money. We only use him when we got things. You know, but when we got stuff, we don't pay him no attention. We use him when we don't have stuff. But when we got stuff, oh my goodness. We don't pay him no attention. So that's what I'm trying to say. When you're broken, broken, still love him. When you're not broken, still love him. Put him first. Put him in your pocket and leave him there. Wherever state you go, keep him there. Talk about him. Share your thoughts, your love with other people about God. When God sees that you're sharing your love, your thoughts, and everything that you have learned from him to other people, he's going to enlarge it. He's going to enlarge you. You may not see the enlargement yet, but it's coming. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not great. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not amazing. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not wonderful. Because in in God's eyes, you all that. If nobody else don't think you all that, God thinks you all that. So keep your head up high. Look above and let God know, say, I love you. I am thankful for what I got. It may not be a lot, but tell them you're thankful anyway. And always put God beside you. Put him close to you wherever you go. 
and God will never leave you nor forsake you. Guys, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming along to listen to this video, live stream, premiere, or whatever you're listening from. And know that God loves you and he will never leave you. And I want to tell you guys, at the end of the day, always let somebody know that you love them genuinely. And don't forget to smile. And if you're not a friend of mine over here, come on and join the family because I'm keeping. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Have an extraordinary, amazing day. See you in the next video. Bye.